like so many others, Mary Kay Baxter claim to go to heaven and hell escorted by Jesus Christ and that sometimes angels. Now there are many who will say it is not true. Some will, will say I don't believe her. But you should look at the consistency of her story. There are lots of people who also have been in the spiritual realm and they will also agree that when they communicate with spirit beings is not by way of sound that they communicate but by way of the mind they also will agree and have agreed that People who died and went to heaven, when they saw them in heaven, they look younger than when they were alive. And the age group given is consistent. It ranged from 28 to 30 years old. Now, this is saying something. And as for me, I have no problem believing why I too have had my personal experience about the spiritual realm. Let me for a moment share a few things with you that I have witnessed on the spiritual realm, even concerning Christ. Now you have seen many religious pictures of Jesus Christ and they all look different, don't you? They all look different. I will tell you why. And it is because I have been in the spiritual realm why I am able to tell you these things. For each time this so-called Jesus appear to you is always looking different you will see him in mid here with just a piece of cloth run across his private area and angels around him there are times and when that is shown to me it was in black and white color or to say black and white now at another time I would see him just by himself in mid here with a piece of cloth that goes across his private area notice also that the picture shown to you here and hurt is that you will see the same two finger stretch upright that is on the Jesus picture just like it is on the devil's picture where has the index finger and the middle finger stretch upright and the fist partially folded so pay some attention to what is going on here and you will notice also that the devil head looked just like that of a goat. Now let us look at Jesus Christ and what he said 2,000 years ago and to see if it bear any truth to this day. He said, on that day the goat will be on my left and the sheep will be on my right. 2,000 years ago he said these things yet in the news in the CNN news you can see they are erecting statue of the devil and his head is truly of a goat and you can see the same sign with the two fingers upright now in the spiritual realm I saw 
Jesus appeared to me. The same Jesus that we have been given day and night. The same Jesus. I saw him appear to me. And he had a heart on his chest. And it was glowing. And he just slightly tilted over me and was looking down on me. And I, it's as if I was electrocuted by my body. I paralyzed for a moment. I could not move. So I just look at him without a word being said by none of us. Anyway, he disappeared and then I was able to move. So many things have been shown to me in the spiritual realm. And I make no claim, my friend, that I have been to heaven or I have been to hell. Nor for one moment is deceived that I am seeing the true Jesus Christ. Christ said, my kingdom is not of this world. And before he came here, the prophet said, the government of the world would be on his shoulder. Confirm. These things are confirming that the argument have a base and it is heading somewhere. Christ saying that his kingdom of, is not of this world. Look how the devil confirmed that what he's saying is true. The devil took him up on a high pinnacle and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and said unto him, If you bow down and worship me, all this will be yours. But he said, Get in Satan, for it is written, Man shall serve the Lord thy God with all his heart, and him only shall we serve. So Satan had was to put the part from him. But be reminded the truth that the story about Jesus Christ bear and about heaven and hell. You know, I like to take for a moment and to talk about life. What is life? Life is something that cannot die. That is why it is called life. And notice that Jesus himself, when he speaks, is not telling you that you're going to die and go to hell. Or you're, die, you're going to die in hell and there's no more you. Or when you go to heaven, there's no more you. He's saying to you that when you die and if you are right with God, you will go to heaven. And there you live eternally in paradise. He is saying to you, if your life does not qualify you for heaven but for hell, when you go there, you will also live eternally, but in contempt, in shame, in everlasting plague. So this is confirming that life cannot die. It was not designed by him to die, but to live eternally. So, you know, for example, look at a person. It is so natural of us that when we see a person, body lie dead, we don't say he is alive or she is alive. We say, he or she is dead. We look at a living person and say,